Tyrell Provision is now in prison after assisting in a suicide. It was one of the most bizarre crimes detectives in Utah County ever came across. In rarely seen police interviews, we learn why he became the deadly friend. She's hanging oh. on the tree, the rope still. Okay. And her limbs are purple and necrosis is sticked in. They gave me a location of Maple Lake, and so they lead me down to where um, uh, her body was located. She's still um, in the tree. She still has a noose around her neck. Utah County Sheriff detectives would later learn they were looking at Chandra Brown, a 16-year-old. It appeared to be a suicide. Sergeant Quinn Frackrow oversaw the investigation of the young girl found in Payson Canyon. There's a few items on the ground near her. There was uh, a couple of grocery plastic grocery sacks. Then there was a shirt and a uh, can of uh, uh, air duster on the ground. Inside the grocery bag was a note written by Brown who wrote, I hated my life. Goodbye, expletive world. And then there was this shocker. Watch the video. It's on my phone. Fackrell found the cell phone nearby. I power up the phone and I you know, the phone is not locked. In the video that plays, you see her standing on the pedestal with the noose around her neck. It shows her lose her life right there on video. But you also hear um, who's a, a male individual. Someone had recorded Brown hanging herself. How can somebody sit there and do nothing to help stop this situation? For detectives, the question became who recorded this horrific video? Next to the rock that she used to lift herself to the noose was a receipt. And on that receipt, there was the name of the uh, credit card holder that was used, or the credit card that was used, and that name was um, Terrell Prohibition. The receipt was for the rope purchased from a store in Spanish Fork. As detectives continued to process the scene, Tyrell Probizian and a friend showed up, and Probizian was taken in for questioning. The first thing I said, like at Wendy's, was, okay, do you have money? Because I know I look guilty now because I bought everything for her. Detectives later learned Brown and Probizian were casual acquaintances but became friends during the final weeks of her life. He claimed she came up with a plan to end her life. And on the way up, she just kept saying, she kept telling me, mm -hmm. I have literally lost feelings for everything, Tyrell. I feel nothing. Are you sure you want to do this thing still? She said, yeah, keep driving it. Tomorrow, in part two of the story, why did Provision agree to do this morbid crime? His reasoning shocks detectives. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Marcos. We do want to take this moment and remind everyone, if you or anyone you know is struggling with mental health problems, we have a number to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline right there on the screen. If you are ever in an emergency, though, be sure to call 911.